Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I'm here to talk about this beauty here. This is the Jeanette Brown from the company Panderspec, or VDS for short. Um, I did get it in the personal size. Um, personal rings again, just because I just love the configuration that I got in my Jeanette Velvet Sand. And the sizing was what I hoped for, the strap, like, it was everything so I thought you know what I'll just get it in another leather and then that's me sorted for personal rings I say that very lightly <laughs> um, so yeah and um, we'll see what 2021 brings but so far I really love the two and I'm very very happy to be going into 2021 with my Jeanette Velvet Sand and this beautiful Jeanette Brown so in terms of the ordering process, because I do get asked this question quite often, just how things go, um, what was the production time, how did I order, blah blah blah, um, when did it arrive, what do you think of the leather, the leather care and all, so I'll cover it all in this video as much as I can. So I ordered this on the last week of September, it was not long after my Jeanette Velvet Sands arrival, um, and that's when I knew the configuration is exactly what I hoped for for a personal ring, so I thought, yeah, let's go for it. Um, so what I got was exactly the same as my Jeanette uh, Velvet Sand. The only thing difference is that I went for gold rings and therefore it comes with gold hardware. Because with Vanderspec, if you're going in with a custom, they will normally match your hardware with um, the same colour as the rings option you chose. So gold 30mm rings, gold popper. So super duper happy with that. I got square corners here. Um, and then as we open up I got the secretarial for the left as well as for the right and then I got the big back pocket. Um, in terms of the left side's configuration I didn't change anything with that in terms of like the card slots and all. They're the same as what you would normally get and yeah you get the pocket as standard here as well as the pen loop. Um, the strap I did ask for a chunky strap as well. Uh, what else did I change up? I'm trying to think. Um, in terms of the leather, again, Jeanette Brown on the outside and on the inside. Now the stitching, I did go for a slight contrast. I went for the undyed um, leather stitching colour. I just wanted a gentle contrast, not so much that it's like, whoa, that's real different. Um, but it was enough to be like that kind of cutesy look is what I would call it. I did see somebody on um, the Facebook group with this colour stitching with their Jeanette Brown and I just really loved how it looked. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, and then what else did I go for? Um, this little mark here, um, that didn't arrive like that. That was my own little mistake where I didn't spray protectant on it and I got water on it and then there it is permanently now. So it's a planner freckle. We'll just go with it. It's building character at a very early stage because I got that mark on Christmas day. <laughs> so yeah, not even 24 hours after I got the planner, I got a mark on it. I was like, great, well done, Rachel. Building character early. <laughs> so yeah, it does mark up easily. So that's my little warning to you if you don't like character build up very like building up so quickly this leather might not be for you now after i got the mark i then realized hmm, should i spray the protectant on it so i went in with this spray here uh colony i think i keep saying that word differently every time so that's the name of the brand for this spray and i did use this as well on my velvet sand so it does cover a range of leathers I would say. I sprayed two coats on it, two on the outside, two on the inside as well as my fly leaf. I'll talk about my fly leaf in a moment. Um, and it dries quite quickly. Um, normally like after two minutes it's super duper like even after a spray and like you leave it a few seconds you're like yeah oh, that's dry. Um, but what I did was spray one layer, leave it for 15 minutes turn it over, spray the other side, leave it for 15 minutes, spray a second coat, leave it for 30 minutes, and then spray the other side, leave it for 30. This is just my own personal choice of timing. You can do whatever timing you like. You can leave it for an hour, you can leave it for 10. It's really up to you. It does dry quite quickly, what I've noticed when I've sprayed it on my planner. I will say for this spray though, if you're getting it, sometimes it splutters a bit and it can leave a little bitter, like a bit of a splotch. 
don't touch it, don't do anything, just let it do its thing and before you know it, a minute later, it's gone. It's just that type of spray, sometimes it doesn't spray as evenly as you hope. Um, but it doesn't leave a mark. At least with my experience, it didn't leave a mark. It just splittered a bit and that was really it. Because um, it happened a couple of times with this planner as well as my velvet sand and I freaked out for the initial time. I was like, oh no, what have I done? And it disappeared. So don't worry about it. Just leave it, let it do its thing. Um, so yeah, this spray, if you're in the, if you're in EU, um, this is the spray I would go for. I did see it pop up on a few Facebook groups and if you're in the States, I have seen one called Apple Guard. I think Sierra mentioned it um, in one of her videos, SM Plants, and uh, she sprayed it on her Undyed. Um, I think it was her Undyed Julio, but I'm pretty sure that spray is also recommended. Um, on a few Facebook groups. So do check that out as well. Um, but in terms of that spray on this planner, it's been fine. No color difference in terms of spraying. Um, it's been, yeah, it's all been okay. There's a slight different texture feel, as you can expect, it's a coating. Um, but after like just general handling use, it just feels normal again. So yeah, that's it, what I would say about that spray. Um, but yeah, just general thing. Watch out if <laughs> once water goes on it, that's it there forever. So there's another little mark here. Don't think the camera's picking it up, but yeah. It's tiny, it's tiny, it's there forever. Um, now, I did get asked how, how it varies with other browns. Now, this is my Jeanette Brown sample from uh, VDS. Um, now, you'll see here, the darker line here, I put water on it. Should have tested it on the sample that I got before I opened up my planner, but you know what? You live and you learn. Um, so that's without the spray. And that's it there permanently. It's dried. It's been a good number of days and that's how it looks. So, yep. Now, this one here is after I sprayed it. So it's not as dark as this side, but you can still see, yes, it does stay. So just be careful if you have any sort of liquid near you. Just be warned. Um, so that's how it is. Should have tested it on a sample before I got my planner, but never mind. Um, and this is another one. I think Cooley. Uh, is it C U? Is it O I O? Um, this leather is six two zero eight, um, and it's also on their website. This was another leather I was being, I was stuck choosing between back in the day, um, when I was thinking of a parm and a brown leather combo and um, this these two were my choices um, and I didn't end up going for this but I thought I'd just show you this as a sample as well just how they differ in terms of the leather um, there it is now this one here I did put a water droplet on this side and as you can tell I can't really see it I think it's gone slightly darker but it doesn't really show. Scratches do show up though. Um, that's about it. And um, I thought I also compare it to the Gelio Gold. Now I don't have my yellow near me or either. That would have also been a good option to show in this video. Um, but never mind. This is the 2020 version gold, I believe, because I think the 2019 one is slightly darker. Um, so yeah, that's how the color difference um, differs from the Jeanette Brown and the gold, whereas this one has got more of a red undertone and this one's just more chocolatey. Um, so yeah, there's the two there. Um, I hope that helps. Um, but yeah, oh, and my flyleaf. So there's been a bit of a hiccup with my flyleaf. I did order it the exact same as the Velvet Sand one where I have a pen loop as well as the back pocket, but my pen loop got missed in this round, but um, Petra and I will figure it out after January because right now it's the holidays time and just relax and all that jazz, so it's fine. Um, this still works fine. Normally I do prefer two pen loops with um, the size of a planner, but that's still really cute. Now the back pocket, I do also get questions asked on it. Now, um, you get the choice of when you ask when you ask for a back pocket or 
ask for a pocket for a flyleaf, you do get the option of do you want it uh, vertical or if you want a horizontal. Now I went for the horizontal option and then you get asked of what's the height you want on it. Now I didn't want it too tall that I, if I want to decorate it covers a lot of it but I didn't also want to have like some stickers struggle to go through um, so the height of this um, pocket is seven centimeters and um, just so when the pen loop is actually here it also doesn't impact it as well so that's why I landed on seven centimeters and um, Petra also gives you suggestions as well if you're wondering like what's the best height to go for one so if you're stuck you can also ask Petra as well because that's how we managed to figure out you know what let's go for seven centimeters because it doesn't impact the pen loop as well as it's not covering too much of the area so yeah I hope that helps <laughs> but yeah again this is the Jeanette Brown I went for it both back and front and I went for undyed um, coloured stitching as well um, but yeah, I hope that helps. It is definitely a very squishable planner. Um, and again, I do not um, ask for a stiffener. There is no stiffener in any of my VDS planners because I am just not a fan of it. I don't like stiffener, it's just not my thing. I just like my leather to mould around the inserts and just, yeah, I like it to mould. Um, with my inserts it's just more squishable um, some people do like stiffeners I think because I have the back pocket um, it's totally fine if you don't go for one whereas if I didn't go for a back pocket maybe I would have thought about one just so it gives it a bit more um, holding standing structure and um, so yeah that's why no stiffener for me again I'll leave all the details down below and yeah I hope that helps and again I'll leave the sprays name down below as well um, but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it's not too long see you guys bye